palms facing down on the knees. And we'll just roll the shoulders back and down, open through the heart, soften down through the shoulder blades, gentle tuck of the chin to the chest, feeling the length down the back of the neck. And close down the eyes. And just allow yourself to arrive. Allowing yourself to sink into the moment, to sink into your long exhales. To sink into your structure, into your skeleton, and to sink into the earth. Allowing that surrender, surrender into what is right now, surrender into what is in nature around us, the seasons changing. Trusting in the universe and trusting in life. Palms facing down on the knees, we're going to start to cat cow. So on the inhale, pull the palms, slide them down the thighs towards the hips. Inhale, chest arches, lift the gaze, exhale, slide the palms away from you towards the knees, belly, the spine, chin to chest, and then continue, inhaling, arch, exhaling, round, and then feeling that contact of your hands with the thighs, feeling the contact of the breath with the body. Three, two, and one. Inhale, flip the hands high. One circle of the arms back down and around to open through the shoulders. And the next time the hands come towards the sky, let's twist towards the right. So to do that, we'll bring the right hand back and left hand forward. So twisting, beautiful. Release, we'll come to the other side, complete the circle, inhale, hands high. Exhale to the left, left hand back. Twist from the belly, shoulders down away from the ears, and then complete the circle. Inhale, one more time to the right, inhale up to the right, right hand back. And drop the left hand down the outside of the right thigh, right fingers down to the earth, onto the fingertips. And just twist from here. Keep deepening the twist. And then walk your right fingertips away from you towards the right. And then you're going to inhale the left hand towards the sky, looking up towards your left hand. Exhale, taking the left hand down. And you're going to curl the spine, chin to chest. So it's an inhale, arching up the back, looking up. Exhale, rounding up the back as you look down. One more. From here, press into the right hand, lift the hips, lift the left hand, and stretch the whole front of the body. Beautiful. Exhale, down. Other side, inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left, left hand back. Right hand on the outside of the thigh. Left fingertips down to the earth, drop the shoulder blades down away from the ears. Feel the twist from your center. Encourage the twist with your right hand. And then walk the left fingertips away from you as you inhale the right hand towards the sky. Arching the back and then exhale, rounding as you slowly move the right hand down to the earth. Two more times in your own time. Left palm to the earth, lift the hips, lift the right hand. And one more. From here, hands frame 
the knees or in your fingertips, tuck the toes. And then lift the knees up, so you're curling into your ball. Maybe the heels come to the ground, maybe they don't. And then exhale, dropping the knees down towards the earth. Maybe an arch here. So an arch as the knees drop, round as you lift the knees, bringing your hips back any amount. Beautiful. For three. Four, two. One. Next time the hips are back, we're going to move the knee side to side. So we're going to drop the left knee in the center as you bring the right knee out to the right. And then the right knee to the center as the left knee moves out towards the left. So you need to make sure your toes move in the direction of your knees when you drop the knee to the earth. Three, two, one. Okay, let's make this a squat. So you need to bring your feet wide, toes out, heels in, sink the hips down. What? Make a wide length in the arms, fingertips to the earth, drop the head. For three, two, one, leave the right hand where it is, left hand reaches towards the ceiling. Exhale, switch sides, left hand down on the inside of the thigh, right hand to the right side. And as both fingertips come down towards the mat, you're going to come high onto the toes, so lift the heels. And then you're going to walk the hands to frame the right knee and turn to drop the left knee and the right knee. So the right knee comes towards the the uh, mat on the right side and then come back up. So I'll just show you side to side. It's going to be easy from this perspective. So you're turning the toes, dropping the knee, and then shift to the right side, turn the toes, drop the knee. So all I'm doing is turning the left toes and my right knee goes in the center, my left knee goes to the side. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing it differently or the same. It's just to get some mobility into the hips. So however you want to do it, that feels like you're opening through your hips works for you. There's maybe some different angles depending on your own anatomy. Just have a play. For three. Two. Very primal movements here. Two. And one, let's bring ourselves back to that kneeling shape. So knees down, bring the knees together, untuck the toes to the hips and heels, palms facing down. Just feeling and noticing. Feel that open channel from the lower spine out to the crown of the head. And from here, we're going to step the right foot next to the left knee. So you're going to lean forward and drive the right foot next to the left knee and step. Sit the hips back towards the heels. Okay. So from here, inhale, hands high. So you can keep the balance, use your core. Exhale, twist towards the right. So the right, the right hand is behind on the fingertips. Left arm is twisting on the outside of the knee. That's it. Lifting through the spine. For three, two, one. Left hand to left hip. Left hand to the ground, lift the hips to the sky. Okay, as you come down, you're going to sit the bum to the ground and just turn the right knee down to the ground. So you're into, towards the right, into a mermaid stance. So that left foot is out towards the left. That would be great. Yeah. And then twist towards the right fingertips and bow down. Left to right, exploring this here, for three, two, it's going to be, you know exactly where I'm going with this, right palm down, left hand reaches long, exhale, inhale, open up, just like you were doing, left hand to the sky, and then bring the left hand down towards the left heel, inhale up, exhale. 
down. You're bending the right elbow and then straightening it as you come up. And sink the left hip towards the ground as you touch the left toes. One more time. You got it. Okay, the next time we lift the left arm up, we're going to straighten the left leg. So the left toes come towards the sky, side body bend. So make sure you lift the left toes up when you straighten. Yeah, side body bend. One, okay, right hand underneath right shoulder to the right side of the mat and lift the hips. Stargaze a pose. Bring the left knee towards the right knee and come to sit. And coming back to your kneeling position again. And just feeling as you settle into this kneeling position, the difference between the sides, noticing and feeling. Not, without judgment, just acknowledging what is. And then we've got the left side, so fingertips to the ground. Bending the left foot next to the right knee, sink the heel down, hips to heels. Okay, engage the core so you can balance. Lift the hands up, exhale, twist towards the left, the left hand back. Take that right hand outside of the left thigh, left fingertips down. Lifting through the crown and twisting from the center. One, okay, spinning to the right, right hand down under right shoulder, lift the hips, lift the left leg. Okay, as we come down, so you sit down on the inside of your right heel and you drop your left knee to the left. So you're into mermaid on this side, beautiful. Twist to the left, bend your elbows, fingertips, guide you left to right, up and down, let's go. Two. Two. Now the left elbow bends a lot, the right arm reaches long. And then as you press into the left elbow, the right arm stretches up and over towards that right heel, sinking the right hip down. That's it. Inhale up, exhale down. The next time that right arm lifts high, straighten the right leg, but bring the right toes to the sky, side angle. Side stretch, quite intense. For three. You can even take the left hand on the outside of the right leg and the right arm back if that's if you want to deepen the stretch. For two. One, stargaze, the left hand under left shoulder, press into the earth, press into the shin, right arm lifts. And then as you bring the knees together, rolling back over into a kneeling shape. And from here straight to tabletop position. Knees under hips, wrists on the shoulders, and moving dancing cat cow. Noticing. And just allowing yourself to surrender into your external environment, your internal environment, without trying to change anything, just acknowledging what's there and meeting it with compassion, acceptance, and love. From here, let's spread the fingers, suction the palm to the mat. Let's put the right leg back behind, right toes to the earth, and just press back to the right heel and stretch down the back of the right leg. From here, take the left hand, reach it up towards the ceiling, and then thread the needle, left ear towards the mat, left side of the head towards the mat. A couple of options. You can come to the right fingertips, just 
give yourself a bit of balance. And pressing the left back of the hand into the earth so, so much, maybe you can think about raising your right leg a little bit, just floating and hovering off the ground. Beautiful, for three, two. If your leg is floating, bring your right leg towards your left hand, so bring it all the way out towards the right. Beautiful. Drop the foot down, the heel and the toe. Just stay here. Beautiful transitions. Okay, press and, pressing into the right hand. Unpeel yourself so the left hand is underneath the left shoulder and you're in side plank across your mat. Okay, so this transition, you're just going to take the right foot Bend the knee, step it forward, and then take the left hand underneath the left shoulder into a twisted low lunge. Okay, from here, right arm reaches back behind you. Deep bend into the right knee, sweeping your hands up to low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right, right hand back behind. So from here, we're going to reverse. So bring the left hand high and the right hand down, but keep the twist. There you go. Beautiful. And on the exhale, spinning the left arm open, taking the left shin all the way in so the heel, left heel meets the right heel into this side, I think it's called the sage pose. Right hand down on the inside of the right thigh and holding the ankle or the ground. And then left hand up and over towards the front of the mat. For three. Two, one, okay, left hand down under, under the left shoulder, come up onto the left shin, and then start to tap your right knee to the right hand a couple of times. One, two, on the third time, see if you can hold the knee in the hands for three, two, one, okay, drop the knees together, you're in tabletop facing the back of your mat. Moving, dancing, cat cow. If you want to flow through, flow through. If you're already on your knees, your chin and chest come down. Baby cobra as you come up. Let's go down from your baby cobra. Bring your fingers out wide, elbows bend towards the sky. Feet out wide as your mat and go for a play. One, hands underneath the shoulders, child's pose, knees wide, hips to heels. Allow everything to settle and sift. Recentering back on the breath. For three. One, back to tabletop, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. From here, left leg back, left toes to the earth. Pressing back through that left hip, forward and back. From here, right arm lift to the sky, inhale. Exhale, thread the needle, right side of the face comes down towards the ground. The right ear rests, maybe you're on the right, left fingertips, pardon me. Stay here for a breath, engage with the core. When you feel strong through your center, maybe you can lift the left leg up a little bit. And then looking at the right fingertips, sliding that left leg all the way over towards the right hand and toes down, heels down and rest here. For three. Two. One, okay, press into the left hand, unwind yourself. Take the right hand under the right shoulder off the mat so that you can come to modified side plank across your mat. Okay, ready for low lunge. So bend the left knee, step the left foot forward to the top of the mat, and when it's planted there, bend into the left knee, bring the right hand under the right shoulder, come into a twisted lunge. That's it. Swing the left hand back behind you, square off the hips. 
bring the hands to the sky, long inhale from the knee to the hips, to the shoulders, to the feet. Exhale, twist to the left. So the left hand's back behind you. Hold the twist and then reverse it. Bring that right hand up, left hand down. Okay, ready for that sage pose on the other side. So spin the right arm open towards the right. Bring your right heel with you. Slide it all the way towards your left heel and sit on it. Left hand to the left ankle or to the ground on the inside of the thigh. And bend your elbow as you bring your right hand up and over towards the left or towards your left knee. Two, one, okay, right hand is down under right shoulder. Keep the knees bent, okay, you're gonna tap the left hand to the left knee. One, two, three, see if you can hold left knee to the left hand. And then bring the knees together, tabletop facing the original front of the mat. Flow it through chin and chest. Slide the hips down, roll the shoulders back, inhale. Child's pose and then the next movement is going to be downward facing dog, there's no rush. Just moving through whatever you need to in your flow. Surrendering into the sensations. Surrendering into what is around and what is within. So you feel good and ready, begin to lift the hips towards the sky. Spread through the fingers, suction the palms. Drop the head down, wide space. Okay, right leg towards the sky, inhale. Press through that right heel, exhale, knee to nose, stepping through, high lunge, bend both knees to come up. Sink deeply into that right knee. On your exhale, twist to the right, so right arm back behind. Okay, reverse here, so keep the twist, left hand high, you got it. And now we're going to spin open to warrior two, so the left arm spins open to the left, the left heel grounds. Warrior two, right knee bends. Reverse the right hand across the sky, inhale. Exhale, frame that right foot. Lift the left heel into runner's lunge. Okay, right hand to the sky. So Cleopatra or Vishnu's crouch, I'm not sure what it's called, but toes towards the right and you sink your hips. You can bring your right foot down a little and then sink your left hip, you got it. Okay, so we're gonna come into, um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of this? Inhale, hips to the sky, turn towards the left, skandasana, right toe out, right knee stays bent, left leg stays long, left toes to the sky, right arm down, left hand high. So we'll do that transition again just to get used to it. So basically you go from facing one way, and then you just, Flip 180 to the other side. Okay, now your left toes are facing towards the back of the room. And we kind of come up to warrior two. So bend your left knee, bring your right toes around with you, sink into warrior two. Reverse the left hand. Exhale, hands frame the left foot. Back into runner's lunge, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep that left shoulder down, and then flip your dog. Sitting back slowly, mindfully to your vinyasa. Maybe you keep the left leg lifted, and then for your up dog, both legs on the ground. You want to rest in child's between sides. Go ahead, other way, straight back to downward facing dog. Whatever you need, whatever you've got. Other side, left leg lifts, inhale. Knee to nose, stepping up through to high lunge on this side. 
Bend the knees, engage the core to swing the hands up. Take a moment. Feel the lift on the inhale, feel the twist to the left on the exhale, left hand back. Keep engagement across the center, reverse in your twist. Yes. Make it a warrior two. So swing the right arm to the right ground, the right heel. Left knee stays bent into your warrior two. Reverse this left hand, inhale. Exhale, hands frame the left foot. Bring the right heel up. Bring the left hand up. Okay, so we're going to turn the toes towards the left. Slide the left foot down if you want and sink the right hip. Beautiful. All the way to Skandasana on the other side. Keep the left knee bent. So come on up. Swivel the toes. Sink the hips. Switch the hands. Left toes out, left heel in. Right toes to the sky. Left hand down, right hand lift. Okay, ready for our warrior two facing the front of the mat. So the right toes are facing forward. So just bend the right knee, come on up, bring the left toes with you. Reverse the right hand across the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands frame the right foot. Back to three-legged dog, kick the right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. You're gonna go to your flip dog when you're ready. Take your time, make it slow, yes. And back the way you came to your vinyasa. Rest in child or down dog, whatever you like. Just honoring the phases, the stages and the cycles within us, around us. Just like the natural law. Surrendering to the breath, the life giving breath. Come on down, we're facing dog when you're ready. You can add on to this flow. But it's very it's very similar in the body. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, stepping forward to high lunge, sweep the hands to the sky. Inhale to find length, exhale twist to the right, right hand back. Reverse, bring the left hand high. This time we're gonna take the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh, prayer twist. Engage belly towards spine, press elbow into thigh to rotate yourself even more and keep the length of the crown moving out of the way. Look down at your right foot and release your hands and slide your left shin next to the right foot like we did in the warm up. Beautiful. Left hand by your left hip, reach the right hand to the sky. Exhale, coming back. From here, press into the, the earth with your fingertips. And then we're just gonna lift up Send the left leg back and turn open to warrior two. Right knee bends. Reverse with the right hand. Exhale, hands frame that right foot. Left heel lifts, right hand to the sky. Toes to the right. Send the right foot down. Dip the left hip. Ready for your skandasana. Come on up. All the way to the other side of your mat. Keep the right knee bent. Left toes up, left hand lift. Now, we're gonna go through warrior two, but we're gonna come straight to half moon, the back of the mat. Left hand down, right leg, right arm lift. For three, two, one. Bend the left knee, slowly make your way back to reverse warrior. Slower than you want to, just feeling every part of the transition. Hands frame the left foot. Three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. You got this, flip your dog. From here, hips to the ground. 
Now from here, turn your fingertips to face your feet. So they're both hands to the ground, fingertips face forward. And when you come up, the right leg lifts. So it's a reverse tabletop with the right legs to the sky. Bend your right knee on top of your left hip and then lift up again, stretching through both hips. Okay, one more time, hips to the ground. Now watch this maneuver first, it's kind of weird. So you drop the knees to the right and then you turn towards the back of the mat. My fingertips turn around and then this can be enough of a twist or you can take your left arm underneath and come to a super deep twist. So let's go together, inhale hips high, exhale hips down, knees to the right, keep the foot on top of the thigh and then turn to face the front of the mat, beautiful. Now you can either reach out of your waist here or if you want more right hand forward and you twist the left arm underneath. Oh, it's a lot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Four, three. Four, two. One, release. Okay, bring the knees to stack each other. Oh, I'm doing it this way. Knees stack. Downward facing dog facing the back of the room. If you want to flow, now's the time. You need it to function up. Inhaling arms, exhale mouth. Maybe we'll do a little horse breath and just allow the air to move through your lips and make a sound like. Really releasing through the hips. Okay, when you're ready, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, coming to high lunge. Allow the sequence to sink deep into the bones. Inhale, find length. Exhale, twist to the left, left hand back. From here, reverse, keeping a twist, you got it. And then the right elbow hooks on the, out on the outside of the left knee, palm to palm. Let's revolve right here. So feeling the length from your right heel to the crown of the head. Feeling the twist, keeping the prayer down, the shoulders down away from the ear. Okay, looking down at your left foot and then slide the right shin next to your left foot. And then bringing your right hand underneath your right hip, hips to the sky. And then as the hands come back forward, it's a warrior two. So you need to lift the hips, send the right leg back, ground the right heel, open up the warrior two, left knee grounds. Reverse left hand across the sky. Exhale, hands frame this left foot. Come to your twist, left hand lift. Toes to the left, swivel it down, Cleopatra or Vishnu's couch. Lift the hips, Skandasana, phasing towards the right, keep the left knee bent, keep the right toe lifted. Left hand down, right hand up. Okay, when you're ready, the right knee, right toes are facing forward. So when you bend the knee, half moon, right hand down. Keep the left fingertips and left toes coming high. That's three. Two. One, super slow. You start to bend the right knee and then reverse warrior, but really slowly. And frame the right foot. War oh, warrior. <laughs> Downward facing dog, right leg to the sky. My brain. Bend the knee, open the hip. Flip your dog. And then hips to the ground, nice and slow, nice and low. So stay in your flip dog, and then hips to the ground. Left leg is long. Change the hands, so the fingertips face forward, the wrists underneath the shoulders, you lift up into a tabletop with the left leg to the sky. Bend the left knee on top of the right thigh. Keep the hips lifted, and then lower. One more, lift up. As you're low, keep the foot connected to the thigh. 
Drop the knees to the left. Okay, twist the body towards the front of the mat. Fingertips face forward. All right, so we can stay here, option one. Option two, left arm long and go for a twist. Oh la la, right arm, side of the head to the end. Use the breath. Okay. Two. Yeah, unwind yourself. Knees together. You can flow through to down dog. Full flow or rest in child's pose, whatever you need. Okay, from here we're going to come to the top of the mat. So from downward facing dog, we're going to walk the feet towards the hands. Hang out here in a forward fold. Nod the head yes, shake the head no, knees are bent. I'm ready to come up to standing. I'm going to get my two blocks and put them shoulder width and on the highest level at the top of the mat so that when I roll up, they're there for when I need them. Super slow. Unfurling the spine, feeling into every part of your structure. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, down to your feet. Okay, I'm gonna have a play with standing balance. So, Let's just practice the curtsy. So I've done this before. Right foot steps behind left. And then left foot steps behind right. Side to side. Let's just do one more each side. Just feeling into the depth, feeling into your outer hip strength. Okay, next time the right foot steps behind the left. As you come up, left hand to the left block, half moon open towards the right. You've got it. For three, two, bend the right knee, hold the right foot if you can. From here, see if you can square off the hips Bend the left knee and switch hands. So keep the right foot bent. Take the right hand to the right block and then switch my left hand to my right foot, maybe. Yeah, so we go from Chapasana or half moon with a bind. Right hand down, square off the hips and then bring the other hand, the left hand maybe behind. Yeah. And then allow yourself to forward fold down more. For three, two, one. Okay, inhale, half lift, both hands to the block, keep the knee bent. Bend your left knee and curl your right knee to your nose. Beautiful, from here, take the right shin down to the ground next to your left foot. Well done. Okay, we're gonna come to half hero. So take the right foot out to the right, sit the hips down on the inside and straighten the left leg. So there's internal rotation of this right foot, left leg is straight. And just see how it feels from here. And if it's okay, let's see about going backwards to lie down. Maybe try the forearms first, see how it feels, lift the hips, and you got it all the way down. And take a couple of moments here. Breathing into the right hip, the right thigh. Softening through the belly. Softening through the shoulders. Softening through the hips. Okay, 
do you feel ready? Keep the right leg where it is. And see about bending the left knee. You can step in the left foot on the ground. Okay. I'll show you the move first. It may or may not work for you. I'm gonna bring my hands down just so I can support. Press into the left foot. And see if you can extend the right leg out and to the sky. Yes, bigger core shape on top of the left knee as we've been doing. And lower the hips down to the ground. Okay, hands out like a T. Drop the knees towards the right. And then drop the knees towards the left. And as you drop the knees towards the left, roll to your left side, roll to your belly, keep the right knee bent, straighten the left leg, and a couple of options. Option one, forehead pillow pose. Option two, sphinx up on the elbows. Option three, if you want to keep twisting, left arm lifts, I'm going to right arm underneath and twist away from our right knee. Really spiraling it up today. Maybe the left arm goes long. We'll see. Two. One. Unwind yourself. And then just, we're going to come back up and bring the left arm under the right so that we can roll back onto our backs. Okay, shimmy yourself back onto the mat and rock and roll up and down the spine. A couple of times. For three, two, one. See if you can come all the way up to stand. Maybe it's a half lift. If you want to flow here, it's a good time to flow. Otherwise, we'll go straight to the other side, whatever you need. So if you need a vinyasa, go for the vinyasa. Otherwise, just come to stand. Inhale, high. Exhale, prayer. Okay, left side. So it's a left foot stepping behind the right. Soon as you start to come up, look for your right block. Right hand to right block. Half moon. Left arm. Left leg extends. Open. So you're like a star reaching in all directions. Bend the left knee. Hold the left foot if you can. Shapasana. And then we're going to keep the left foot bent and bring the left hand down to the left block. You also want to square your hips are up. So before we were open, now we want to close the hips down, both hip bones facing towards the earth. Bend the right knee and then bring your right hand around to maybe hold the foot. You can stay half lifted or maybe you want a deeper forward fold, sending your left knee towards the sky. Three, two. One, okay, half lift, press into the left block. And then bend your right knee so much, both hands to the block, that you can take your left shin next to your right shin and sit. Well done. Okay, half hero. So internal rotation of the left hip, bringing the left heel to the left, sitting your sit bones down, straightening your right leg. And let's take a couple of breaths here first, settling for hips. And when you're ready, go on back. Take your time. If there's any discomfort in the lower back, you can lift your hips and tuck your tailbone. Just finding some space. See about bending the right knee and planting the right foot on the ground. 
The next maneuver, we're going to bring the hands down by our side so we can press into the right foot, press into the left top of the foot, and then extend the left leg to the sky. Yeah. Bigger pull, left foot on top of the right thigh. And then lower the hips back down to the ground. Hands are out like a T. First of all, let's drop the knees to the left. Bring in the feet towards center, drop the knees to the right. And as you do so, keep rolling to the right, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling onto the belly, left knee stays bent, straighten the right leg, hips to the earth, and pick your options, either sleeping, sphinx, and then that twist we did is we're going to twist away from the left knee, so sliding the left arm underneath the right and taking the left ear down to the left. I like to bring my right fingertips to the earth. Good twist. Good twist. One. Unwind yourself. And then wind yourself the other way to the right arm under the left, rolling onto your back. And we're just going to stay on our backs now. Hugging the knees in towards the chest and circling through our hips and glutes. If you can reach around for your block, we're going to do a supported bridge, either on the medium height under the sacrum. See how that feels. If you want to do it higher, go ahead. It's up to you. I'm just noticing and feeling. If you are on the medium one, you can lengthen your legs and your arms. The if it's on the highest, sometimes it can be a little bit too much, but as you like. For three. Two. One option to bend the knees. You can stay longer if you want to stay longer. Otherwise, if you want to go to the lowest setting on the block and then take your legs towards the sky, just for an inversion. You need to keep some engagement through your lower abdominal muscles, but you can bend your knees, keeping the head, neck, and shoulders super melted to the ground. One, bend the knees, feet to the earth, lifting the hips, removing the block out of the way, and then coming to Shavasana. Legs long, arms out by your side. Just allowing yourself to surrender into the earth and surrender into your experience.
first, and then we're gonna squeeze, let go, and drift. We are breeze to bear it with the lazy grace, the leaf unwinds its growing season in a dancing downward spiral, landing in silence, making of itself a perfect offering to the altar of the earth. organic movement in the whole body to bend through the knees and roll to whichever side that you fall to first, allowing yourself to grace the earth, allowing yourself to bring all of the treasures of your practice with you, keeping and allowing them to be within as you roll up to a comfortable seated position. Hands in prayer arms to the third eye center. A gentle reminder to allow the thoughts to be open, honest, and kind. Arms to the lips, allowing words to be clear, compassionate, grounded. And hands to the heart center, knowing and feeling unconditional love and eternal joy within. Surrendering to the natural beauty around us and within us. 